Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Urdu through English lesson series by ifactnet.com. This is lesson number 9 of learning Urdu through English and in this lesson we will be learning how do we use the letters Zal, Re and Are in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of the words. Zal, Ra, Re and Re are the 14th, 15th and 16th letters of Urdu alphabet. <coughs> let, let, let's start our lesson. First, <coughs> let's see how do we use Zal. Zal is just like Tal with dot on top of it and it is pronounced as Zal it's a non-connector it means that it is never connected to the second word character when it is starting a letter a word for example uh, let's see we have got a word called Zan Zahan, Zal, He, Noon, Zahan, and uh, it is a special version of He, Zahan, Zal, He, Noon, Zahan, it is pronounced as Zahan. Zahan means brain. Zahan. And uh, then we have got another uh, word. Zikr. Zal. Kaf. Re. Zikr. Zikr. It is written uh, like this. And it is pronounced as Z I. K A R Zikr Zal Kyaf Re Zikr Zikr means to remember someone. Uh, let's uh, see how do we use the letter Zal in the middle of the word. There is a word called Azan, Alif, Zal, Alif, Noon, Azan, Azan, Azan is pronounced as A Z double A N, Azan, Azan, Azan means uh, to call people uh, for prayers. <coughs> And uh, uh, there is another word called uh, Iskar. Alif, Z, Zal, Kaf, Alif, Z, Iskar. Iskar is the plural of Zikr, which we have discussed in the previous slide. So you can see that Zal is never connected to the other words. Uh, in the middle, but sometimes it is connected to other words. Uh, uh, let me think of some letters of words which we in which we use Zal at the end. Uh, this word called Maz. Maz is basically uh, a name. And it is pronounced as Maz. So, guys and girls, uh, let's see how do we use the letter Re in the beginning of the word. It is pronounced as Re, simple Re. There is a difference between Re and Re. Re. It, for English uh, speakers, it would be very difficult to differentiate between. Re and Re. 
but a is with a stress on R. It's a day, a day. And it's a simple way. And using these words in different places uh, changes the meaning of the words. So you have to differentiate between the letter re and letter re. Let's see how do we use letter re. Re is also a non-connector in the beginning of the word. And uh, there is a simple word called ro. Re vow ro. Ro. Ro means weep. Ab ro. Ab matlab now. And weep means, ro means weep. Ab ro now weep. Now cry. And uh, let's see how mm, do we use the uh, letter re in the beginning of the word. There is a word called rubber. Simple. It is re be re. It has been derived from English. And yes, you have guessed, guessed it right. It means rubber. Rubber is rubber. Now let's see how do we use letter re in the middle of the word. Letter re. There is a word called R. Or uh, par. Pe alif. Re, par, par. Oh, uh, now uh, we are just uh, looking at how do we use letter re in the end. Par means to on the other side. And R means on this side. R par. R par means on this side or that side. So, it's R par. Then there is another word uh, that ends with letter A. That is par. Par. Par has different meanings. It can mean the feather of the bird. Feather. Or par is also used uh, uh, to say but. Par, you have to do it. Par, mujhe nahi pata. And uh, it is used in the meaning of lekin, which is another word, which we will discuss when we will be discussing about uh, letter uh, L. So this is how we use the letter R in the end of the word. Now let's see how do we use letter R in the middle of the word. There is a word called sira, seen. Re alif ra sira sin re sir re alif ra sira sira means sira is pronounced as sira simply and it means uh, the edge of something then there is a simple word called sir sin re sir sir C means head in Urdu. So uh, this is how we use letter R and how do we use uh, write letter R when it is connected to an other word. Uh, I will just uh, give you some more examples. There is a word called Sheikh. Sheen R Kaf Sheikh. And then there is a word Mar. Mar means to die. Sheikh means to uh, do the sin, sinful things. And uh, Mara is the person who has been died, who has died. And Mera means my mine. Mera naam. I Fechtner hai. My name is I Fechtner. So, Mera means mine or my name is. 
these are few examples of letter R. Let's see how do we use letter R uh, in the beginning of the word, in the end of the word, and in the middle. Letter R when is a special character like toy is put on it, it is called R. There is a difference between R which was the previous letter and this is R. So it the R has got the deformed R form, the R. And it's also a non-connector just like its cousin R, Dal, and Zal and Dal. So it's a non-connector, that is it is not connected to the second character when it is starting a word. Uh, and uh, guys and girls, I would like to tell you that there is no word in Urdu that starts with letter R. Uh, uh, let's see how do we use uh, letter R in the middle and at the end of the word. Letter R, 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 R. This call, word called P, R, Aleph. Now see that we just write it like letter R, Para, but it has a different meaning. P, R, Aleph with a special symbol on top of it. Para means something which has been Put on the table. For example, khana mez par pada hai. The food is on the table. So, pada means on. And uh, let's uh, see another example of re. There is a word called mura. Meem re mur. A simple word meem pesh re mur. And remember, we discussed that there is a word called mar, meme zabar re mar. Mar means to die. And mur. Now, see that we are just using the same word uh, but with re. Mur means to. Uh, let me write it mur. Mur means to. Uh, to see back or to come back. If someone is going somewhere and you say, Hey, please uh, look at me, then he will look at you. So, more means to see back or come back. Then there is a word called Sara. Seen, re, alif. Sara oh, and simple word is Sara. Sara means something which has been spoiled. For example, the apple it has been spoiled. So it's Sara. It is spoiled and it is written as Sara. So when we use the letter Sar, seen with Sar, Sar means head but letter sir means something which has been to let to tell some pun to be spoiled so guys and girls this is how do we use letter zal re and re in the beginning in the middle and at the end of the word and we have also discussed the difference between letter re and letter re. Now I will just write uh, some words and I would like uh, you to uh, to pronounce them. It is mar, meem re mar. It is mur, meem pesh re mur. Mur means to see back, uh, back.
and then we have got sir and sir sir means head and sir means to spoil to get spoiled and then we have got a letter p a alif re pahar pahar means mountain pahar and then there are other words called for example seen he re alif re hera sahara sahara desert is very famous in the middle east so guys and girls uh, thank you very much for joining us for uh, this tutorial by ifactna.com if you would like to learn more about urdu alphabets then please visit uh, our website www.ifactna.com i will see you in the next lesson until then take care bye